is up everybody welcome back to my channel and today I thought that we would do a chit chat get ready with me I don't really have anywhere to go or any place to be but I wanted to sit down and kind of chat with you I just filmed a boxy charm video for my YouTube channel I already did an unboxing on my Facebook page earlier this month and I, I just wanted to get on here and kind of chat with you so if you don't mind let's just go ahead and hop right into it I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with this elf 24 hour concealer in the shade light sand and we're gonna hop into the eyeshadow palettes and stuff If you've been keeping up with my YouTube channel recently, you know that I purchased the Tati Beauty palette and swatched it all for you. And during my unboxing, we found out that my, um, my mirror was broken. The very next day, I actually sent an email to their customer service and they were able to get back with me within 24 hours of the time that I sent them the email. They required more information from me and less than three days later, I had a new, brand new Tati Beauty palette at my front door. And guess what? Pristine condition. Check that out. So that is what we're going to be using today. And look, it even still has the, the thing on the palette to keep the mirror alive. Hello, mirror. So beautiful. This mirror is fantastic. It's totally in HD. It's huge. It's gonna be great to take with me on vacation and I can't wait to use it. All right, I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush and we're just gonna hop right in. Luxie brush, the 250, it's a big old mamma jamma. And I'm going to go into the shade called Soothe right here in the matte formula. And we're just gonna play around a little bit. Let's see what we can come up with. So. I was able to get a replacement from Tati Beauty for this palette and um, they were great about it. They uh, also like apologized profusely about it being broken and I have like, I'm so thankful for that kind of customer service because we all know about the whole Jaclyn Hill thing and people who bought their, bought her lipsticks still haven't gotten a refund for that stuff and she's launching a new product just in a few weeks which i will not be purchasing by the way if we want to get right down to the skinny like i do not appreciate jacqueline hill uh treating her subscribers like that i don't know if you've seen or if you know of jacqueline hill if you don't know who jacqueline hill is like i used to be a huge fan of jacqueline hill She's a great makeup artist and a YouTuber. She used to be a YouTuber and now, shit, I don't know what she does for a living because she sure as shit doesn't make YouTube videos unless she's about to promote a product that she's launching. Super shady that I'm saying this, but still, it kind of makes me mad because I've been a subscriber for like five years and like she hasn't actually been producing any kind of material on her YouTube channel at all unless she's like, oh my life sucks, my life is awful, being famous and rich is just disgusting and like I have so many things to do and so many things to worry about and I'm living in my mansion and I don't know if you saw the footage from her launch party but she was making a joke by uh, wiping her face off with fake $100 bills at her launch party and making a joke about it instead of like giving people their refunds for their money. Like that's super disrespectful to the people who actually like, they made you. They made your career, they purchased your launches even though they fail immensely most of the time. The only thing that she's done right so far is the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette and like, I'm talking about the original palette because we all know that the 
other palettes that she released with Morphe, the vault collection is just a patchy mess. So, can you tell that I'm mad about it? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I don't know. I'm, I'm so thankful that Tati released a great product. Like, look at this. Blending like nobody in business. Look at that. So, I plan on taking this palette with me on vacation. Because we are going to West Virginia and I'm going to do like an orangey tone. The orange story shade. Let's see how this turns out. Um, we're going to West Virginia for Thanksgiving and I'm super excited about it. And so is my husband. My husband loves going to West Virginia for Thanksgiving because we have like a huge big family dinner and um, I cook the turkey and my grandmother makes the ham. We have all kinds of look at that. blending seamlessly. We have all kinds of uh, other stuff that people in the family just bring over, like uh, pies and the side items and stuff. It's a great time. We get a lot of family time in, and I'm 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 glad I'm going to be able to go this year because my grandfather just passed away. Um, this year and I just don't want my grandmother to be alone you know I like it a lot so I'm gonna take this Morphe M433 and I'm gonna dip into the sequin brown shade right here the one with the glitters and stuff in it and I'm going to oh yeah that's much better I think that synthetic brush was just too... Too soft. We're going to West Virginia and we're gonna go spend Thanksgiving there and we're also gonna go Black Friday shopping while we're there. And hopefully get some good deals. We normally do pretty well whenever we go Black Friday shopping in town um we would be going to the huntington mall for our shopping adventure and i plan on taking you guys with me for the family vlog session while we do such things and maybe even doing a live stream while i do my makeup and this palette's super heavy though like the, the quality is here, sis. She like, the quality is here to the point like this is, is super heavy. We're gonna try to get um, some stuff on sale for the guest bedroom um, while we are shopping and we are going to do our best to um, end up at like an at home or a TJ Maxx store or something like that where we can get some decorative items. We want to try to turn in the, the guest bedroom into a filming place for me just so I don't have to be here on the couch and have to listen to Allison do things in the other room the entire time. She always wants to try to be in the middle of the video at all times. And that means that I'm distracted, that I don't get to even finish my sentences. And you know, mom things, mom things. So I'm just using the shade uh, Ritual in the mat and I'm just deepening up this outer corner area in the crease. This is blending out so well. So we're gonna keep our eye out for things for the um, filming studio slash guest bedroom. 
and try to redecorate it to be suitable for filming. Get some Christmassy type stuff um, because my dad and Bonnie are going to be coming in the first week of November to stay with us because we won't be able to see them for Christmas this year. We won't be able to go to Florida at all. So I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush like this one and I'm going to grab the shade Aura in matte and I'm just kind of going to blend over top of uh, this crease and make sure that it's kind of really blended together well and maybe a hint of this shade Soothe and just kind of go over these edges. I want to try uh, this metallic brown, this metallic shade Ritual, and put it on the lid. This is a very fall vibes kind of look. And I just love how like all of these colors, they like just go together so well. Like you can do row to row, you can do this way, you can do sideways like this and they just all tend to go together. So I'm going to use the glitter shade in the row ritual and go right over top of that metallic. And I'm just kind of pressing it into the eyelid. See, that's pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very pretty. So there's a little bit of fallout right here, but that's why I haven't done my face yet. Um, I'm going to use the shade Story Glitter, this more orangey tone, and I'm just going to go directly in the center. Ooh, that's pretty. glitter a little high up. Make sure that if you're trying to remove some of this glitter by just kicking it off that you close your eyes because technically these glitters are not meant to be in your eyeball. So just don't like purposely try to put it there. Just make sure that you close your eyes whenever you're doing that, okay? And I'm going to kind of clean up right here and make it pretty again. I finished Fire Academy, thank goodness. It was rough, it was a rough couple of months. Um, between working 24 hour shifts and going to Fire Academy and being a uh, mom, like I was having a rough time. Like my autoimmune disease was trying to literally, absolutely kill me. I was in so much pain for like too much straight and especially like the last week of training I was <laughs> like about to start my period and then like on the very last day of training the most embarrassing thing happened <laughs> like boys if you are watching and you don't want to hear about this stuff I would go to a different video as of now or skip about five minutes because let me tell you I literally was climbing through a window and my body was just like hmm? no you ain't you ain't you ain't doing that you know what you are gonna do though 
you're gonna start your period a week early. I'm so excited. It was great. It was fantastic, except for the fact that I was not prepared for such situations at all. No, no, was I prepared? No. And in fact, to the point that this was like such a bad, a bad thing that happened to me, it was super embarrassing because everybody else, whenever everything was done, they were like getting out of their uniform, like getting out of their gear and stuff. But no, I couldn't. I couldn't get out of my gear. You know why? You, you, you just want to know why? Because the inside of my gear looked like there was a fucking massacre. I was like, oh my God. Like, not only did I just ruin my gear, I ruined my pants. I ruined literally everything. I went to go take off my gear and I was like, oh. like I, I knew that I was having stomach cramps and stuff, but I had been having stomach, but like these were like really bad stomach and I didn't realize and, and until that moment. And then I was like, well, I guess I'm doing all this cleanup for the next hour in literally my fire gear. So like it's hot outside. I'm already sweaty and disgusting. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll just be living like this. So not only that, but I had to come home and clean up because I couldn't physically like go to work like that because that would be <laughs> absolutely and just embarrassing beyond embarrassing not like they don't know anything about it because they're all in the medical field like they're gonna be okay with that kind of thing but it's still the point like it's it's just a little beyond embarrassing to me so I came home and I got cleaned up and I went back to work and then I slept for like 48 hours straight because I was sick as dog. I actually just posted a video about me being sick that week. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put a card up here if you want to go check it out. <laughs> and it's of me being self-conscious about the scar that I have going on here. Well, that was once a uh, cold sore and I was looking online for remedies for this cold sore, like a at home remedies because <laughs> I felt like the drugstore stuff just wasn't like <laughs> enough. So I decided that I was gonna try to come up with my own like home mask ask, home mask slash remedy for this cold sore. And I was doing like all of this research and stuff online. And it said that like using just like regular old table salt and like rubbing it into the wound. Do you know how painful that is? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Actually, I can show you if you watch this video right here. <laughs> if you rub table salt into a wound, it freaking hurts. Okay. And, and my ass was like, you know what? Beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. So <laughs> we're just gonna try it and see what happens. So we mixed table salt and lemon juice with like witch hazel and lysine tablets and which is a supplement <laughs> and all kinds of other things that are supposed to be good for anti-inflammatory and skin tissue renewal and, and you know, all these things, right? Well, they're not good whenever you rub them into a open sore, clearly. Well, you'll just have to watch this reaction because it was worth, worth videotaping it. We'll just say that. But it took me about a month to decide to actually upload it. <laughs> I was like, should I upload it because I look awful and I'm doing really stupid stuff and it's like plastered all over the whole thing. Like, don't do this at home. I'm an idiot. This was not smart. I'm gonna use the 
camo concealer in the shade chestnut to contour with. Yeah, <laughs> it was not my brightest moment. So we've also been house hunting as well. I posted a vlog about that. If you guys like the house hunting video, we'll continue to vlog it. But I don't think it got that many views on YouTube. So like, if that's not something that you guys are interested in, please just let me know down below and we won't continue to film that kind of thing. But we've been really busy. If we're not at work, we're trying to um, go house hunting and you know, I needed a a few days to really recuperate after this whole like fire academy and working situation fiasco and i feel like i don't want to be on here just complaining the whole time but it sounds like it's what i'm doing it doesn't it i feel like since my flare up like I've had literally the worst anxiety like I woke up today while I was at work I was about to get off work and literally I'm just you know what it is though I think it's that I'm like literally tired of confrontation like having any kind of confrontation around me at all just makes me feel like so incredibly anxious like, I don't know how to deal with these emotions inside of me. And I've been this way since I had my miscarriage. Like, I've not been able to deal with any kind of emotions at all. Like, an automatic assumption is just, like, panic. Panic. Full-on panic attacks. Like, I have to go to the doctor panic attack. I have to go deal with something at work. Extreme anxiety. Not patient care wise, but just people in general that I have to have normal everyday communications with. And I'm like, are they mad at me? Are they going to be mad at me? Are they going to hate me? Because I can't have an everyday conversation with somebody without feeling like they're going to hate me too. I don't want anything to do with the drama. Y'all can keep your drama over there. I don't want nothing to do with it. I want to get along with everybody. I want nothing to do with it at all. Like if you have drama, please do not come near me because I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want anything to do with family drama. We're literally boycotting Christmas just to not deal with family drama. Like, that's how done with these, like, problems that I'm having. Like, I just don't want to be anywhere near it. So, that's, that's, that's the bad on that. That's all I got to say. Like, I, I'm boycotting Christmas because I don't know how to deal with my emotions. <laughs> God, why am I so salty? That's what my partner has been saying about me for a couple of weeks now is that I'm I'm super salty because <laughs> we had like a competition at work on who can make the best chicken enchiladas right and everybody loves my chicken enchiladas everyone apparently except for the people at work because they voted for Brent's chicken enchiladas over mine which is clearly wrong clearly wrong because at least my chicken enchiladas have taste. So also, um, what else have we been up to? What else have we been doing? We went to go see a movie the other night. It's uh, called Midway. I don't know if you've seen it yet or heard about it or not, but it is the movie about um, the World War II Pearl Harbor and um, the way that that whole resolution transpired. And it was literally the best movie I think I've seen all year. 
or maybe in the last like five years. But I'm like a history nerd. I love all that kind of stuff. My mom is like a history nerd too. So she kind of like instilled that in me from a young age to be on top of your, your own culture. And I love reading books about like biographical books. I've read the biographical novel of Lincoln and JFK, all kinds of different things, but I'm a nerd in that way, I guess. And that's how I spend all of my extra time when I'm not at work and doing makeup and serial killer history as well. Not just <laughs> US history, but serial killer history. I find that all that stuff super fascinating. Anything that like literally actually happened in the world is my deal. It's what I'm, I'm interested in. I want to hear all of the thoughts. So recently, Eric and I were watching, Eric was reading the book and I was watching documentaries on the ice man killer he was apparently a uh, killer for the mob but prior to being a killer for the mob he would, had already killed several people so he is the most notorious serial killer known yet because he had killed upwards to 150 people which is absolute insanity. And some of the people he like doesn't even remember like where he did it or why he did it or whatever. He was just like, eh, they talked bad to me, so I did this. And I think that that's less like super interesting. Is that weird? Does that make me weird? That <laughs> I'm interested in that kind of thing? I don't know. I don't really care if it does or not. But. I'm gonna use this Cover FX palette that I have and I got in BoxyCharm to contour with. So Eric and I are trying to plan out a day that we can try to get family photos done because we haven't had family photos done since we had our wedding pictures which was in 2015 so that's a long time ago and Allison has changed so much in that amount of time and I really want to get some family photos especially since her last name is officially night now to get some Christmas photos done so that we can make Christmas cards and get them sent out via the Vista prints so that I don't have to send out Christmas cards because if I buy Christmas cards I'll tell you what's gonna happen I'm gonna spend all of this money on all these beautiful Christmas cards I'm gonna fill them all out I'm going to fill them out and make personal handwritten notes in them I'm going to take the time and really love on it right I'm gonna do it but then when it comes time to actually buying stamps and putting the stamps on the envelopes and sending them out it's like it never actually ever happens and i don't know what it is i think it's just like the self-sabotage in me is like should you try are you going to try so this way i'm going to have vista print send them out for me and i'd rather pay the extra money to you know have personalized family photos sent out as a Christmas card instead so that I don't have to deal with the whole fiasco of never actually sending them out. And then they're sitting here on my kitchen table on week one of New Year's and I'm like, well damn, there goes a waste of money and a waste of time when could have just sent them out, but I never did. 
Anybody else do that? Ah, I hope it's not just me. Like, hopefully I'm just not that person. Probably am. Probably just that person. Almost done, almost there. I'm gonna take the shade Sooth and I'm going to run it deeply across the bottom lash and really smoke it out. This stuff is super pigmented. I don't know if I've told you guys that. Probably have like a thousand times now, but I've only dipped this color in twice and look at all of that pigment. And it's just blown out fabulously. I'm gonna go into the shade Story, just a, a snippet of it, and run it right across the lash line. Try not to use too much of it. And try to bring it down not quite as far as we brought down the other one. All right. And I'm going to grab the shade Ritual in the shade Matte, and I'm going to do a lot of it. Really marry these two lines together. So I've had a couple brands reach out to me as to be an ambassador for their brand and I don't know, I'm so conflicted about wanting to do something with a brand because I don't wanna be kind of like a brand pusher. That's just not who I am as a person. I'm not good at selling things and I won't be sold for, <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not gonna be the person to wanna sell things. Probably not gonna be the best person to have as your brand investor. Unless you just want me to like, try out your products and tell you what I really think about them. I don't know, how do you guys feel about brand ambassadors versus like sponsorship people? Like, how do you feel about it? Because I am like, I don't know. I feel very wary about any kind of situation like that because I don't want to have people say that I'm doing something because I've been bought with money or that I'm trying to just sell a product to them because unless I truly believe in a product like this palette, for instance, then I'm not going to push it for somebody. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not... who I am or how I want to be. And just want to make sure that everything is nice and blendy. And blendy. that's turning out so I'm going to grab a eye pencil and I'm going to do a little bit of a liner Now from manipulating all of that glitter on my eyes, I do have a little bit of fallout right here, but it's nothing that's like too awfully bad. 
and I kind of want to go over it just because I haven't done this yet. I want to go over it with a little bit of the black shade called Ritual. And see if we can get it. Okay. Maybe I should have just used this black. Some mascara and a little bit of brow situation and I'll be right back. Just wanna give a shout out to Jackie Hassler because she gave me this wonder beauty eye uh, brow pencil and it is in the shade taupe and i actually love this so much and i think it's gonna start replacing my nyx micro brow pencil i love the shape of it it is kind of a lot similar to the micro brow pencil but a little bit more pigmented than the micro brow pencil um it lays on perfectly and i'm just gonna film this part to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So like, we'll do this eye with the Wonder Beauty uh, pencil and we'll do the other eye with the micro brow. She got this in her Ipsy bag and she gives me a lot of her Ipsy stuff that she doesn't plan on using or that's not like the right color for her. And she's like the, one of the best human beings I've ever met in my entire life. And she's gorgeous. She doesn't need any makeup at all. So shout out to Jackie for fueling my makeup obsession and always supporting me on my platforms because she's been a subscriber since day one and she's been on my Facebook page since it launched. So, hey Jackie! I'm just gonna run through and bring up those hairs so you can see exactly I see that. It was so easily done. Now I'm gonna switch over to the NYX brow pencil so that you can see the difference. Now, the difference in price, this one I think was $18 and this one is only nine. So, but I'm gonna show you, I have to do a little bit of shaping on this brow so it'll be easier to show you how less pigmented it is than this one. Cause I had, this is my good eyebrow that like does what it's supposed to do when it's supposed to do it. And then this eyebrow is like the one that's like, I don't know, maybe I might. So I'm going to draw that line right here underneath where I want it to be. I'm gonna go straight up against the nose and make the line of where it should end according to my facial features. And I'm going to complete this line all the way out to the tail. And this is in the shade taupe as well. And like this one is just a tad bit more waxy so you kind of have to press a little bit harder to get the pigment that you want I mean it is possible to get the same kind of pigmentation and you just kind of got to work harder at it and then we'll fluff them up and see if that's good enough or if it needs a little bit more love. 
So I think that's good right there. And I'm going to show you the Wonder Beauty color versus the NYX color. So this is the NYX Micro Brow in the shade Taupe. And this is the Wonder Beauty. In the shade Taupe. They're the same exact color. This one is just easier to work with for some reason. I don't know why. This Dose of Colors lipstick is a matte liquid lip and I got it in BoxyCharm and it retails for $18. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some on my lips, even though my lips are like crusted, they'll stay. By the way, have you guys been watching Disney Plus? Because I've been like obsessively watching Disney Plus. Like every single day I've been watching movies. I made Allison watch The Sound of Music with me. And she's been singing, what is it? Uh, can we solve the problem like Maria? And I've had Edelweiss stuck in my head for days. We're obsessed with the Disney Plus. Especially because it has Lizzie McGuire on it. And I'm super excited about the new Lizzie McGuire reboot. <gasps> There's new ones? Not yet. They're, they're filming it right now. But I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to watch it. And it makes me just want to do this. And you're watching Disney Channel. That I'm so movie. excited. Every single time that I watch it, I, I go through and I find a new movie that I haven't seen in years. Seen, I haven't seen, I haven't seen in years. And so I, uh, like, totally am on it. I'm, all the Disney Channel original movies, like Johnny Tsunami and the, the even Stevens movies and like all of the motocross in the double teamed movie where they're like twins but one is like a six foot five <laughs> human being and she's like this little four foot eleven girl like i loved that movie i was obsessed with that movie and i'm going to watch it tonight yeah. we're gonna make hello fresh tonight and if you haven't yet you should try hello fresh we have a code for a discount if you want to use it we'll list it down below it is E R I C K N I G two. Mm, yes, risotto. This is the final look right here, and I hope that this video was not to did not come across as bitchy. I just wanted to get on here and chit chat with you and let you know kind of like what's going on in our lives, what what we're gonna be doing what kind of vlogs we're gonna be putting out and also uh, what we're doing for Thanksgiving. Trying to give you guys kind of an update about you know, the life that we live. So that's what's going on with us. So what's going on with you? Go ahead and comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and click down below because you know you wanna check out those vlogs. And keep an eye out for anything that is new. Click the notification bell down below. Uh, I'm gonna list a video for you to watch up here and at the end of this video, if you just want to let it play out, it'll go ahead and play it for you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you come back and see me soon. Okay? Bye!